Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also going to have a look into Ethereum and I also want to show you in today's video why this next parabolic move towards $80,000 that I also mentioned in yesterday's video could be in the cards maybe even this month and this could be also a local top before we are entering into a correction into a bigger correction than what we have seen so far and where we could then accumulate again more Bitcoin. So first off, we start here in the four hour time frame because right now you can see this uh, move here towards our new resistance that we still have here at around $52,000. This has also been tested here with this last pump. Then we had this correction and after bouncing at the 200 moving average in the four hour, you can see that we recovered back up here. And also yesterday night, we had here a buy signal again in the three hour time frame. This was playing out perfectly and of course now you can see that we are getting again some problems here at this resistance same like we had over here. So I think that most likely we're gonna stay below this resistance here as long as the CMEs are closed because we closed here the CMEs on Friday at exactly $49,400. So in my opinion, and this is also why I'm not trading usually during a weekend, is that we're gonna come back down towards these levels here as soon as the CMEs are starting again. So even though of course this move to the upside is bullish, I still think that here we're getting rejected and we will come back down again towards uh, the CME close level which is currently at around $49,400 and then we have to see if we are getting another buy signal here if we can potentially break out here to the upside from this resistance that we still have here at $52,000. The good thing is that in the EMA ribbons we are back in an uptrend. We are also so far trading above the 200 moving average in the four hour which of course is bullish. We of course can still come back down here to retest it maybe even fall a bit below towards this $44,000 dollar which I also mentioned in yesterday's video but overall we should be gearing up here towards uh, our bullish targets between uh, 75 to 100k before maybe we could potentially enter into a downtrend at least for a couple of weeks or months until then we're gonna recover back up again to break also 100k and go way above that price level. So here in the four hour time frame, it looks like that we have this clear resistance here right at $51,500, let's say 52,000. And the good thing is that at least for now, we are creating higher lows here in the four hour time frame. So we could maybe form here this ascending a triangle. And at the same time, it looks like that maybe we have also here an inverse head and shoulders pattern. But of course, uh, also here, we cannot trade it until we're gonna break out here to the upside and then create all the support above 52,000 and then move on towards uh, higher levels. So that's why we still need to wait here for four hour closes, at least four hour closes above $52,000. And then of course, also daily closes above the 20 daily moving average. So we can take out here the EMA ribbons because like that you can better see the moving averages and here you can see the 20 moving average is right here at $50,000. So we have to start closing candles again above the 20 daily moving average same like we did over here but then also confirm it as a new support. So th that means that we shouldn't fall again below the 20 daily moving average. We should then start to close daily candles above same like we also did in the previous correction here as soon as we were starting again to close daily candles above the 20 daily and of course above the 9 daily moving average we then continued our parabolic move to the upside and this is what I think also will happen here very very soon that we're gonna start to close daily candles above this resistance that we have here and gonna stay above the 9 and 20 daily moving average and this is then the time when you want to scale in again big longs over on Bybit or Femex because like that you can take as much profits as possible on the way towards uh, 75 to 100k. 
and why I think that there we could see such a potential local top is because of the logarithmic growth curves and so on with this indicator here from Maboni, you can see that although in the past this acted always as a very good indication to where we maybe could see at least a local top and then come back down again for a healthy correction and then gear up again for a big move to the upside. And also here in 2017, you can see that when we reach here this red zone, uh, we topped out, then started a corrective move. If we go back in past, let's go here back in 2013, you can also see that here, although we came into this red zone, exactly sig signaled the top, we had this correction, got some support here in the yellow zone, but finally we crashed down again in the green zone. And same thing goes also here. Um, a bit earlier in 2013 but here we didn't reach the red zone so we stayed uh, here in this yellow zone where we are right now so if we are having right now a correction then i think you just have to hold it through and maybe even buy some more bitcoin maybe down here in the worst case scenario we could even drop towards 30 to 23 thousand dollar because here you can see where the 200 daily moving average is lining up right at the green zone here so if we're starting to correct right now i think the worst case scenario is here to bounce at the 200 daily moving average right at twenty four thousand dollar but i don't think that we will come back down to these levels here before we're gonna reach a cycle top at least uh, for the next coming uh, months and here the red zone you can see that we have it right here between 75 to 100 thousand dollar that's why i'm telling you if we're gonna see an explosive move here to the upside and we're reaching again here this red zone i think this is where you might take some profits because most likely after reaching this red zone here we're gonna see a massive correction at least back down here towards the ye yellow zone where we are right now so between 50 to 30 thousand dollar and in the worst case we could even fall again back here towards the green zone where although the 200 daily moving average is lining up and then of course with the profits that you're taking here between 75 to 100 k you can accumulate again more here let's say at 24 thousand dollar because keep in mind that even though we could have such a correction if we're gonna have a blow off top at least for now towards 100k we are still too early to reach here targets above 100k because based on the stock to flow model price we should reaching 100k towards the end of this year towards september october so in my opinion we will go way above 100k but not before the end of the year so if we're gonna have here now an explosive move to the upside we will be way above the stock to flow model price level which is currently this light blue line and right now we should be trading at around $36,000 so if we have here an explosive move towards 75 to 100k and we take out profits here we might then start a huge correction back down towards this light blue color trend line here so towards 40k maybe even crash below the stock to flow price model and this is where then we can accumulate more and more bitcoin because also in the past if you were accumulating bitcoin below the stock to flow model price level let's say here in 2017 until 2020 you can see that every time you would have bought here below the stock to flow model price level you would have bought the absolute bottom and like this of course you would have maximized your gains and something similar we could see yet if we're gonna have an explosive move towards 100k and then maybe have a huge correction below this price model so this is just a theory that i have if we're gonna see here an explosive move right now in the next coming days and weeks towards 100k and that's why in my opinion it wouldn't be a bad idea to take some profits here just to be ready that if we're gonna crash again towards the 200 daily moving average here at $24,000 that then you're ready to buy this dip and if we go now over into the weekly time frame here you can also see that currently we have the 20 weekly moving average right here at 30k and usually during a bull market the 20 weekly moving average always acted as a very strong support and we never came below or at least never closed a weekly candle below the 20 weekly moving average 
So if we would have now this explosive move to the upside and a local top there and we would start a huge correction, then in my opinion, we wouldn't close a weekly candle below $30,000. So we maybe could crash down towards this $24,000 area and then week immediately back up here towards the 20 weekly moving average and then close the weekly candles again above this important moving average and that's why if we see such a scenario i think this is the place where you should accumulate again more bitcoin if you are taking out profits up here if we are having this explosive move to the upside here in the next coming days and weeks which in my opinion is very likely to happen because this correction that we are seeing right now in my opinion looks very very similar to this reset that we had over here before then we continue to go higher and higher so this is at least my theory for the next coming days and weeks and here for the short term my friends i think that bitcoin and most likely also some other altcoins will continue to go sideways here at least for the next coming hours and days before then we're gonna have a clear breakout to the upside especially if we are seeing in these weeks the dxy again getting rejected up here in this resistance zone and start another correction down again towards 90 but this is what we're gonna have to see while traditional markets are opened and if we go over now to the ethereum chart you can see that right now we are fighting again here these 200 moving average in the four hour time frame we are already a bit exhausted here so i'm expecting here another rejection potentially down towards 1550 dollars also here it looks like that we could form here an inverse head and shoulders pattern and although we have this resistance up here at around $1,600 so if Bitcoin is able to push higher and break out to the upside from the similar pattern that we also seeing here in Ethereum, I think that also Ethereum most likely will follow. And of course, you can then trade also Ethereum and Bitcoin over on Bybit and Femix. And if you still need an account over on Bybit or Femix, make sure to use my referral links down below here, because with my links, you will get some extra bonus and some extra money. And of course, also check out Binance if you want to buy some altcoins, because this is the exchange that I very much recommend to everyone if you want to buy also other altcoins next to Bitcoin. So the conclusion for this video, my friends, is again that we most likely here gonna stay in this area between 51,500 down to 47,000 dollar. If we're coming below this price level, then take it as a good buy and long opportunity. Otherwise, make sure that you're ready to trade this breakout to the upside because I think this could be another explosive move towards these bullish targets that we have between 75 to 100k before maybe then we we're gonna start a serious major correction where we then of course can accumulate more bitcoin so before i'm gonna wrap it up my friends another big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on the discord if you want to join us over on discord where you can also get access to my own indicator where, which you can easily trade bitcoin then make sure to use the official link that you find in the video description just click here in the invitation link once you are here in the discord trading chat you have to go here to read first and click here on thumbs up to confirm that you are a human and not a bot and like this you have free access and if you want also access to the live stream indicator then you have to contact me here with a private message and for a little donation you can get access to the indicator of course which you can very nicely use to trade bitcoin you have here three time frames the 15 minute the three hour and the daily time frame which are very very helpful if you want to trade bitcoin especially over here on bybit and femex so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button smash that like button also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye